One of my favorite things I read this week was an essay by my best friend Ayanda Stood called The Power of Recommitment and Return. Ayanda does this wonderful thing where she writes handwritten essays that go out to people's inboxes in tandem with new podcast episodes as they drop. I think all of us can probably relate to the feeling of, you know, maybe you get like a great start to like a project or an idea or a season in your life and something happens and suddenly your consistency is thrown off. Maybe you started a podcast or you started writing a book or you started writing a story or a song or learning guitar or whatever it is and something happened and you're no longer in that same consistency pace. This essay that she's written and the podcast that goes with it is so soothing because it talks about how natural it is to take breaks from your craft and how normal it is to return and how that actually makes you a part of nature. Nature is very cyclical and so are you. And so just because you've taken time away from something that meant a lot to you doesn't mean that you can't return to it, whether it be a relationship, whether it be your relationship to an artistic practice. And so I really encourage you, please go read this. Here's some of the key takeaways. We often avoid the shame of neglecting a creative project even more than the project itself. The shame tells us we aren't worthy of returning because we didn't do what we said we'd do. It's lying to us. We are complex beings worthy of breaks, rest, and redefining the linear path sold to us. Enter recommitment, an ongoing process of choosing to return, like a cycle or an orbit to what matters to us, redefining ourselves along the way. Rather than fixate on the time we have lost, why not shift our focus to the abundance of creativity and connection that lies on the other side of return? Ugh, just so brilliant. I love her so much. I can't believe she's my best friend. She's a genius. And this is just like so the message the world needs to hear. It's never too late to return. It's never too late to return to your craft. It's never too late to return to something or someone or something that's important to you. You can do this. You got this. Go listen to this episode. It's a video podcast. You can watch it on Spotify, YouTube. You can listen on Apple. I hope you'll also subscribe to her newsletter. She's incredible. Let's go support her. I love you guys. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I love you y'all and I'll see you soon.